three bin men who were filmed mixing up waste which had been separated for recycling in Canterbury and leaving litter strewn in the street have now left their jobs with the council's contractor, Serco. Yes, people in the area say that the footage has left them shocked and angry and questioning the value of following the recycling rules at all. John Hunt has the details. These rubbish collectors are mixing paper waste in the crates with plastic glass and cans in the wheelie bin that are supposed to be kept separate. What's more, they seemingly have no regard for the mess they're leaving behind as a result. As you can see, it contains glass, plastics. Yeah. Resident Leo Slater set up his camera to record the workman after seeing it happen before. I was living really, I thought he was just disgusting. He says he complained to the council contractor the same day, but two weeks later, this time a different workman appeared to mix up the recycling again. I can't believe it. I thought, what are they doing? Because I spent time, and I know that other residents do, get the containers, put them in bags and inside your home, then get them all ready, and these clowns come along, and, I've, and they were just literally laughing and joking while they are doing it. Canterbury City Council and its contractor Serco described the workmen's actions as completely unacceptable. They used the same words to describe a similar incident, again caught on camera, in 2016. Residents are left wondering if they should bother recycling if the council collectors do this. They're not caring about their job, they just want us, uh, to finish their job quick, I guess. People suspect that this goes on, and does it make you wonder whether it's worth bothering? Well, yeah, it's pretty fruitless otherwise, isn't it? You know, if you're just trying to, um, yeah, if you take the time to separate it all out and it doesn't actually mean anything, then it's not encouraging people at all, is it, to recycle? Different types of material, whether that's glass or paper or aluminium, they can contaminate each other. So if you keep them separately and then they're collected separately, they have a much higher value because they'll be of a much better quality. Now their actions have been exposed. These bin men are no longer working for Serco, and all staff have been reminded of their responsibilities. Well, John joins us now from Canterbury. And John, this isn't the first time Serco bin men working for the council there have been caught doing this. That's right, there was an incident back in 2013, just after the recycling scheme here was launched, again in 2016, and now caught on camera again just last month. I asked Serco's press officer if she thought the company had a systematic or bigger problem. Uh, she said to me, I'd rather not discuss that. By contrast, Canterbury City Council says it doesn't think they've got a big problem. If they did, their newsrooms like ours will be inundated with video every week showing the latest gaffe. We're not, and so I suspect this, these are isolated cases. Okay, John, thank you. Coming up in a moment, the last chance to save Salt Dean Lido. Campaigners say they have four weeks to raise 60,000 to unlock four million in lottery yeah. funding. who's suing the American magician David Copperfield, has told the court in America that he was left in agony with serious injuries after an illusion he'd volunteered to take part in turned into pandemonium. Gavin Cox from Hearn Bay says he suffered a dislocated shoulder, a brain injury and chronic pain after he took part in a trip five years ago. But David 